Hey guys, so um, you'll probably be able to tell in my voice that I am in fact under the weather, but nothing was going to stop me today. I got a new palette in the mail that I purchased off of none other than the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. It is in fact the Norvina palette. <sighs> you guys, when I first saw this on, I think I saw it either on YouTube or Instagram first, I can't remember. But I was immediately like, oh my gosh, so excited. I love purple eyeshadows. I think they're so flattering on really everybody's eyes, but especially brown eyes. I just think it's so, so pretty on brown eyes. And we've had so many warm, warm neutral palettes getting to the point where they're not really neutral anymore, but... um which I love those too, but I am ready for some makeup companies to do stuff like this. So, it comes in this gorgeous purple box, just like all the other Anastasia of Beverly Hills palettes. Um, each shadow is 0.02 ounces. And then, the one thing I will say about Anastasia Beverly Hills as they are very consistent with their packaging. It has that velvety packaging again with the name of the palette on the front. Um, it just got, you know, a sticker on the back. It has their, um, their name, Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, on the front here in like a rose gold. So pretty. And then you've got the inside. Now this did come with a brush, it's right here, the same kind of uh, double-sided brush you get in all the other palettes. Um, I don't hate the packaging of these palettes, but they do get dirty, and that bugs me. I know that's like a common gripe amongst YouTubers though, but you know, it's, like I said, there's something to be said from consistency. You know at this point what you're going to get with an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, the, you also have a nice big mirror in here. Um, the formula of these shadows is very consistent with the Modern Renaissance palette as well as the Soft Glam palette. I have both of those. I do not have Subculture. I know all the drama around the Subculture palette. I don't have it, so I have swatched it in store. And yeah, it is a, it's just a different type of formula. But this one is very similar to what we know and love. Um, you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Fourteen shadows in total here. Um, the t what I love about this one in particular, and now I don't know if they've done all the other ones like this too. I don't think so. I think they're mixed up. But in this one, the top row is all shimmer, and the bottom row is all pretty much matte. Now... Soul looks like it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but I'm thinking it's going to apply matte. I'm very excited to use that shade, but I've seen a lot of people use it already. So I just went with kind of a purpley, smoky eye. But isn't she beautiful? It's just so pretty. It's got such a nice mix of golden, rosy, pink, purple tones. And then you get your, you know, like your neutrals in here, um, which is just really nice. I love this love shade. It kind of reminds me of, is it Bear from the Laura Lee palette? I feel like that's a new sh shade that everybody is going to be doing. Um, but anyway, so I will swatch these really quick for you. I'm just going to swatch them on my arm and then show you my arm um, because swatches don't really tell you how the shadows are going to perform online. But I know I still like to kind of see the, the shadows swatched out because it kind of helps me see what tone they're going to be. So I'll do that quickly and then I'll be right back. Okay, here are the 14 swatches. Now mind you, I have a ring light on. So, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. So here we have the bottom or the top row in the palette with the shimmers. Is on the bottom here and then here is the matte row so if you want to take a closer look and pause the video just to see what you think 
but those are the swatches. All right, so the price point of this palette is $42, just like the other Anastasia palettes. I ended up paying the $6 shipping to get it to my house in two days, so it was $48 total. But I think if you order it through Anastasia's site, you can opt for free shipping, maybe? I think if I remember correctly. This palette will be launching um, in stores in a few days. Let me find out the info on that. Okay, so as I mentioned, it is already on um, ABH's website for US and UK. Um, it launches on Alta's website on July 29th and in stores in Alta on August 5th. And then retail launches online are August 7th and in stores um, in on August 18th in Sephora, Macy's, Dillard's, Nordstrom's. Yeah. So there you have that info if you want to pick this palette up. I am super excited to play with this some more. Um, and if you're interested in this look, then just keep on watching because my tutorial is coming up now. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take Love on a Morphe M573 brush. Gently guys, I've already done my other eye obviously. This shadow is pigmented. <laughs> Okay, on the same brush, I'm going to go in with Eccentric. Just on the very tip, I'm just literally going to, boom, tap it off, and go into the crease. I'm gonna tap between that shade Love and Eccentric and just get that on my outer third of my eyelid. Okay, and then on a M, no, a Morphe E36, I'm going to take Passion. I like how small and precise this brush is. I'm just going to hold the mirror out in front of my face because I want, and I'm going to look straight into the mirror, I want this to be able to show when my eyes are open. And because I have hooded eyes, I have to, you know, pay attention to stuff like that. So you can just see it peeking out over the top there. And then I'm going to go back in with that Morphe brush and just blend a little bit. Okay, I attempted to use a brush to, with this shade on my other eye, but it just, it was not picking up the beautiful color that is Celestial but my finger did. So I'm just going in with my index finger and I'm gonna tap that all over the lid until kind of the inner third. And I'm just gonna do one more layer. This is such a pretty shade. And then for my inner third, I'm going to take my middle finger and dreamer and just pat that on the inner third. You 
you guys, I don't know if you can see, but I do have a bunch of fallout, which is why I never ever do my eyes first. But for this video, I'm just going back into Celestial. For this video, I wanted to get it up today um, because it's a newer palette, and this is just the quickest way that I could do that. So. And then I'm just going to go back in with a little more passion on that um, pencil brush and just re rub that through the crease. And this is actually going to go on my lower lash line as well. And then I'm going to blend that out with a little bit of love. And then for eyeliner, because I typically just like a more wearable look, you know, so I'm not going to do a big wing liner. So I'm just taking an angled brush and the black shadow from um, the Naked Basics palette. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara. You guys, this is the finished eye look using the Norvina palette. So I'll give you a little bit, I'll close my eyes and give you a closer look. Alright guys, thanks so much for taking out of your time to watch. Um, I hope y'all are healthy out there. I think I'm on the mend, but my voice still sounds terrible, so thanks for um, watching through that if you did. So I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Be brave. Bye.